through in 2010, so I've only just hung up the dancing shoes. We reached the final for the second. Matt and Ali are back together and we're on tour. Well, when we start, when we start, it's a funny feeling. You look at your shoes and you think, is the magic going to happen? <laughs> Unfortunately, obviously left the shoe to reach back at all. I had a rumor that Ricky wants to better my back foot We cannot allow him to do better than you. Yeah! I will do better than you. The record is actually four and a half thousand. No way! Yeah. I had to do some of them with one arm because I had to take them more. Yeah. <laughs> you actually really yeah. <laughs> I know that Matt has never experienced dancing in front of thousands and thousands of people. I've never stood in front of them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Funny, yeah. I love dancing so much. I can't wait. Just for a day. That's a good time to leave. Mm -hmm. um, so you've had your Christmas break. You're back in the flashy outfits. Oh, yes. Ooh, lovely. How does it feel to be, to be on the tour? Lovely, really, really pleased to be here, to be honest. It's just nice to kind of get out and dance in front of so many people and folk that will have kind of supported us and voted us through week to week on Strictly, so it's nice to get out here and kind of meet everybody, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Has there been any signs of competitiveness so far? Because I remember last year we had uh, Austin Healy and James Jordan, I met them, yeah. and they were incredibly competitive, and there's a lot of banter between them. Is there any signs of someone showing um, the competitive side so far? Yeah, there's a lot of banter that goes on. I mean, it's, it's great fun, and because a lot of us have been together, for quite a while now it's uh, it's great to get out here and, and just be a little bit more relaxed with it you know what I mean this really does feel like it's a bit of a party atmosphere going yeah. on a bit of a celebration you know and uh, and because it's the same routines every night you're gonna go out night after night and try and you know see if you can yeah. better the next person I remember last year they were saying that it'd be quite nice if everybody got a chance to win a, a glitter ball at the end of the tour yeah, I suppose absolutely yeah less, and, uh, less competitiveness than the live shows obviously well do you know to be honest with you as far as that's concerned you can't you can't really compete all you can do is just go out and do your thing yeah. because you everybody's doing different dances I mean each week somebody would be doing a rumba a quick step a foxtrot and you can't yeah. kind of say I'm gonna go out and foxtrot better than you can rumba it's just a bit weird so yeah, it's a different thing yeah all you do is just kind of go out there and and do your best and see what happens really Excellent. and during the show you had a really hectic schedule still presenting you were up in Scotland all over the place do you do you find that training in different venues and being in you know different environments kind of affected your training well, it didn't give us a lot of time, yeah. uh, that, that's for sure. Um, so that was the biggest deal, really. Um, but it was lovely to go around and, and uh, you know, we trained in schools, community halls, all, I mean, it was the craziest thing, to be honest with you. I don't know how we did it. Honestly, I think back and I think... Poor Aliona. In Trapes all over the, over the country. She loved it though. She did seriously. Aww. She loved it. We had great road trips. And it you did know. look fun. Obviously, all the little um, the shots of you guys in wellies out. You know, obviously, you filmed little extra bits. Um, yeah, yeah running around hay bales and all sorts. I know, it it's, uh, yeah, and you know, it's a bit of a shame that it is kind of coming to an end really, but this is a really nice way to finish it oh, off. Um, and it does feel that by the end of it, you know, you'll have got the most out of it, I think. Yeah. And once the tour's finished, do you think you'll carry on dancing? Is there any way you can continue to have lessons or keep going? Um, I'd like to, I seriously would. I mean, you obviously can't keep up with this level and uh, you know this intensity, which is something that I really love, to be honest with you. I, l I really enjoyed that, you know, the, just the, the sheer intensity of it, the pressure. Um, so would you, you wouldn't consider taking lessons with your wife? That's just the thing, she really, really wants to learn and um, and she's a great mover anyway. And the thing is though, you the, the level that you are, you're at with your routines, you don't learn the basics because yeah. you haven't got time. Yeah, you just yeah. go in a week and just go, right, we've only got a matter of hours, do this, do that. Around, throw up in the air <laughs> so um, yeah so, so my you wife could, like, literally go back to basics and start learning yeah, together. That you could and you wouldn't actually have a clue of what you were doing yeah. so you could learn together but um, all the routines that I did on Strictly I, I did at home with Nick Lev my wife so uh, she did oh, all so the she's lifts getting the hang of it yeah yeah well yeah. she doesn't really know that I, I mean I, I wouldn't know the girl steps I know my steps and I'd yeah. swing around but yeah. it kind of helps a bit with the leading cool that could be really good fun then yeah definitely Excellent. and uh, which is the dance that you're most looking forward to doing tonight which is the the one that the crowds can look forward to I think the samba is the one that everybody because we, we come out and we get the crowd clapping and yeah. all of that so they'll hopefully be on our side i just hope we can still hear the music because that's the worrying yeah, thing if, if everybody's clapping yeah so really you mean loud, drowned out you can't actually hear what you're supposed to be dancing to that could be tricky and then the, the worst thing is as well if they get the wrong beat and the band's oh, doing no, one yeah. thing and they're doing another and you but start going off in the yeah, uh, yeah, wrong yeah. time <laughs> i'm sure it'll be great I'm, I'm sure you'll have lots of fun and uh, best of luck with the tour thank i hope you. you do win a glitter ball on this tour that'd be brilliant yeah, that's very thank you very much cheers bye-bye it's Country Fall presenter Matt Wickham. Of course, Matt, well done.
challenges and the viewers week after week on Strictly on the last series. They're pulling out all the stops tonight. Can they finally lift the trophy? Let's see. Enjoy. The thing is, you don't want to let anybody down. Lots of people have come here for great night. You want to go out, have a go, and uh, you know that was our comeback dance actually in the semi-final. So we thought, you know, we'll come back. We're going to try and get hold of that glitter ball. So we'll try out the tango on the O2. Okay. And Frank. This rider had aggression, it had power, I absolutely adored the series of low race bits. Fantastic clean, precise, powerful. Under foot should remain on the floor at all times, and that spin you did made that into an illegal lift. Hang on a minute, Craig. I've, I've got a little Christmas present from Aliona here, and she said, uh, you know, when you're going out dancing, never leave the house without it, especially if Craig's there. And uh, it's the <laughs> real dancing rules. And it says here, under tango, bear with me, if the foot leaves the floor for less than one beat of the music, the move is considered not to be a lift. <laughs>
so a huge cheer for Harris.